Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy Sims and I missed y'all. I I don't know, the last time I posted I was like a couple days into the lake house. I really I really start every day new. Like I don't the day before is really a blur and the present moment is really where I live to be honest um, but I just got back to the lake house I've been here all week and I just went to dinner in town with my family my brothers in town and I just got back and it's dark out I'll put the time down but I didn't post a podcast last week, or on Saturday, um, and so I don't think I'll post this as a podcast episode because I'm not really, like, using the microphone, even though, like, this is usually what my podcast episodes are like, so just to let y'all know. But this has been a really great week and really relaxing. I've been thinking, like, I don't know if I manifested this lake house, but it's really happened so divinely. I would like to ideally, like, have a house on water and, um, I mean, like this one. Like, I really do like it. Kind of like, I would say, out in the middle of nowhere, but there's a Dollar General in the Dairy Barns close by, which you might catch me there if you're there. Dollar General and Dairy Barns where I've been in the water Harrington Lake that's where you'll catch me um that's why me and my family drank through like a bunch of Prosecco's and I really like wasn't like feeling it that much I'm like back to like that kind of Lucy like I really have like a high tolerance yeah that's what it is it's not low tolerance it's high um but yeah, I had, um, I was here by myself last night. Oh, I need to clip my toenails. I want to do that. It's nice to do it outside so it goes or wherever. <laughs> <laughs> I had therapy today and it was really good. We're working on like really deep stuff. Stuff that I would like to work on. Um... But it's really deep. And I would like to help other people with the same stuff. I mean, if you're listening this far, like, I hope I can... I hope you're cool. Um, it's relationship stuff with friends and... Do I say lovers or just, like, partners? I don't know. Um... But that, because I feel like, I mean, relationship with family is like a whole different category. And I feel like I'm more good on that part for now, right now. And um, there's stuff I need to work on within like friendships and relationships with partners, um, sexual partners that is where I need to work on because I and this is where I'm being vocal about it because I want to help people with it that are facing the same issues I'm face I have faced and am facing it's hard to work on relationship problems when you're kind of not like in one um but anyone that feels like they can they lose themselves in other people lose themselves in other people, anyone that, like, um, just has, like, so, my therapist has described it as, like, having, because it comes from a root of having, like, so much empathy for the person that you kind of, like, disregard and have, like, the rose-colored lenses on other things for the person. Just giving too much of yourself to someone else. Knowing you want something else, but then settling for whatever because you have this connection with someone. Stuff like that. 
Um, I mean, and if you're being abused by them, being taken advantage of, and being honest about it, I want to help anyone with that way. I know how you feel. I keep breathing through my mouth. I got nose surgery a couple years ago, and when I talk a lot, it's still... It's hard for me to like breathe or, or talk and breathe through my nose or sink and breathe through my nose. I just made tea and it's warm. Mm. But I don't like leaning forward either. I wanna lean back. Um I mean, to talk about this week, this week has been great, like, being on my own. I really, I've missed you all. I really, really have. I would have filmed on Friday, but I just, I guess I didn't make it a priority. I was, I was, like, thinking about it, but I was, like, with people that whole day. Like, my sister, my, her family, um... Which I like. Like, I'm glad I kind of took a break. Like, I haven't taken a break since I started committing myself to doing it weekly. And that's another thing I've kind of mentioned to my therapist. Like, commitment. Um, sometimes it feels like I'm being trapped in a cage. Um, I guess that relates to this context, too. I keep thinking about, like, <laughs> Kamala when she's like... He just fell out of a coconut tree. We exist in the context. That's all I know. I didn't say it right, but... I mean, this lake house has really been like a godsend. Like, this has all been really divine how it has happened. That's why I kind of... My mom has been, like, looking for a lake house. Like, she's always on Zillow. But, um... This has... It occurred to us from our her hairstylist, our hairstylist, my old th hairstylist is best friends with our old chiropractor. And so this was our old chiropractor's house. And that's what it kind of have, I think she mentioned that she was thinking about selling and then my mom reached out and then it's kind of happened so soon. And, but it's really perfect. Like, I can't describe how divinely perfect it is um, for us, for our family, just the way it's worked out. Like, not having to go through a real estate agent and all that. Like, it's really indescribably great and divine. And I think at first I was like, you don't need a lake house, but, like, I'm really glad that we have one now it's about like 45 minutes depends 50 minutes an hour from the house in town and i plan to be here like as long as possible um until school starts i guess it's ironic it's like a lot closer to the school i was going to over a year ago, two years ago, no, it was like a, one year ago, um, it's a lot closer to that school, but I'm glad I'm not going to that school. When I walked in, something was beeping a lot, and I'm like, I'm just, I could see like how old me would like freak out a lot more, and I wasn't. Um, freaking out as much like I finally figured it out but like I'm really I have like I've I have such a like protection around me where things don't like bother me as much it's like really amazing and I want to help anyone feel that way because it's amazing um It's taken work from where I've used to been. It's taken a lot of work. None of this has been easy. Um, 
so I have a lot of empathy. I don't know about you, but I am such a feeler. I've been watching you recently. I just want to talk about it. <laughs> right now he's dating Love. Love that name. And that's always been on top of my name. Love, lovey, uh, love it. Um, it's very interesting how he is, if you've seen it, like, he kind of, I mean, he kind of, like, he's, like, narrating it, and he tends to just so happen to, like, murder people every <laughs> once in a while, but he really, like, justifies it in his mind, and I, um, I don't feel comfortable, like, I don't, I'm not diagnosing anyone, but... I mean, I can't do what he does. Like, he's taking knives to people. Yeah. Um, and I can't do that. He does divert. Uh, what's the right word? Um, you know when you're, like, angry and then you, like, divert it to other people? I've taken so many psychology classes and I feel like it starts with a D. But, you know what I mean. Um, so I've been watching that. The TV's currently not working. I told my brother that he needs to fix it. Or my brother-in-law needs to fix it. So if you're listening to this, I hope you fixed it by now. A.K.A. tomorrow. Come over. Um, yeah, I poured red wine. I mean, if we're being vulnerable... I used to be very de I would use the word dependent. Not addicted, but mm, more dependent. Cause I feel like that's what it like bio biologically physiology physiology is that the right word? Um liked weed, needed weed, whatever. Um, and I haven't been doing it for like pretty much this year. And yeah, I was thinking about like going to get like a Delta 8 thing because that's like the only thing that's legal here. But I didn't. I just like it. Like it's fun and it brings me to like a different spiritual level that is hard to describe everything spiritual is not easily described that's why I feel like it's like so we just can't understand it from this level we can try to describe it but we really won't be able to understand until we're above and that's at the beginning of this week oh dang it I forgot to get floss <sighs> I'm going to tell my mom to get floss tomorrow. Um, I don't want to be texting while I say this. Um, you bring floss. Floss tomorrow. The sticks, if that's all you have. I got a cavity, like, fixed. It was split last week. Um... Someone that I've hung out with several times, I went to school with, he died um, surprisingly randomly in a car crash. Kind of, I'm not exactly sure where. I really am not exactly sure where, but there was a crash near this lake house around that same time. So I don't know if that's exactly where it was, but um, I was really, it hit me in a weird way. Dang, I need to charge my battery. Dang it. Um, I really, it, it, I mean, I was really sad and I'm, 
wasn't like on a talking basis all the time and I really wasn't too close with him but he really had me I remember at a point in my life where like I me and my friends like kind of like really needed something and we would go ask him about it and I'm sure there's other circumstances that I don't remember as much about it but it was really a shock and like I feel for other people so hard I really do like someone I'm friends with that was his best friend um I feel for him because he's lost three people close to him at he's younger than me um it's just this life is fleeting. I've been reading Ecclesiastes. I'm kind of like done with it. Um, I love Ecclesiastes really now. I read Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 3 chap Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 through 8 maybe. Um, the one where it's like there's a time for everything. I read it if you want to like it talks about they kept saying i'm reading i'm reading the good life version no good version good news version that's what it is um and it keeps saying the words like life is useless like someone keeps saying this but like like might as well have fun while we're having life um or while we're living life might as well have fun make the most of it that's pretty much what it, what it is, and I'm very grateful that I'm reading that at the time I am. I hope this has brought like some sense of optimism to your life or hope, and I'm really grateful for you all. I This brings me so much peace, joy, just another level of something I don't get from anywhere else, and... I love you all and I'm here for you. Comment down below if you want to talk or just have something to say. Um, I love you all. All love, love all. I'm probably going to watch you after this. After I upload it. Bye.